Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer with the fro. Back with another video. Today's gonna be like a little quick little video. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use your hardware synthesizer, any type of hardware, as a plugin inside of FS2. This is really good for people who maybe can't play um, in time with their, you know, their DAW, trying to, you know, figure out how to get it going and all that kind of stuff, or just people who want to, you know, actually use multiple synthesizers and don't want to have to get up and plug them in and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, get walk to them and all that. I'm gonna show you guys how to, you know pretty much set them up to where you're gonna you can use fl studio to control your synthesizer so you can get more control do a little catch of things and use all the cool midi functions that are inside of fl studio to pretty much use your synthesizer let's go ahead jump inside fl studio should i do this so i'm gonna go ahead and show you i'm gonna show you this with the micro freak because this is the synthesizer i've been using i've been actually getting into it a lot more lately i've made like several beats using nothing but the micro freak and i'm loving it every step of the way the presets in here dope and all that and they did do update too that made it really dope i need to do a video on that and talk about this even more I love this synthesizer. It's really, really good for beginners. So first, let's just go ahead and jump to it. So first off, we're going to open up a plugin inside of FS2 that comes with FS Studio called MIDI Out. Now, MIDI Out is not actually a synthesizer or anything like that. It just pretty much sends MIDI data out to, um, you know, different pieces of gear or any piece of hardware or anything like that. It can be a controller, anything like that. And you can pretty much, you know, use the knobs to control different parameters inside of it. So you can do automation or you can just send out MIDI data. So first off, you want to make sure you have your actual MIDI key board set up in the correct way so i have my arturia micro free uh set up in port number three so basically it is sending midi data through port number three and i also got it synced to the clock through usb well like about the interface so if you have like an interface or a, uh, a keyboard that has like usb connectivity plug through usb so you can you know register and all that or if you have the midi cables and your interface has a midi cable make sure it's going out through that midi format and all that so pretty self or set up stuff like i said i'm not going too deep in that look up a video if you want to know how to do that stuff so yeah but once you got your port set up you can set to whatever port you got like i said my micro free set up the port three so inside of here inside of midi out i will set it to port three as well and that means anything i play inside of midi out is going to be playing so when i start playing oh that's right no sounds playing that's right i forgot so what you got to do next is actually go into your mixer channel and actually set your input of your um whatever the output is going to hear to the input of your interface so this is running into my input number five because basically you are recording the audio coming through the synthesizer because they're making the sound so now when i play and if i turn it up <laughs> as you see if i use my midi keyboard i'm still able to control my hardware so now i can go in and start plugging stuff in so if i go to like a preset let's find a nice little preset no, we we'll just. And as you see, I can play with my MIDI keyboard. I got the scale mode on my keyboard. I can even turn my art function in. And it still plays through my MIDI keyboard instead of using the art in here. And like I said, now I can just go in here and actually start plugging stuff in. And you see, it's actually playing these notes for my through my um, MIDI key, uh, my you say MIDI keyboard, my hardware synthesizer. So now, if I want to actually take this and put it inside of FL Studio, you have to record it into FL Studio. The way I like to do it, the best way I think it to do it, and you know, just my personal way is to open up Edison, which you know, you open up Edison, and then if you click on where is it at? I don't know why Edison takes so long to load up in my DAW. That's weird. It used to be load up really fast, but now it takes. God knows how long. So after 20 years of waiting, Edison finally opened up. But um, the way I like to do it, like here, you record it into like, you know, inside of the, what is this called? The arrangement pattern. You control it inside of the arrangement window, which, you know, probably be the simplest way for most people. But I like to use Edison because I like to use the looping function inside of Edison. So if you put it on, on play and hit record, now if I press play, it's actually going to record this little loop right here in the Edison. And make sure you put it on the same channel that your input of your hardware synthesizer is coming into. So... And then I go in here, make sure it's tempo sync. So I can go to tempo sync, make sure it's tempo sync to 140. That is make sure the loop is good. And then boom. And then I'll just hit here, select this little region. And 
and then I can trim it down. And then I can also de-click in and de-click out. And I can take this and drag it into here. And now I have the same pattern. And now I can start, you know, if I go to song mode, I can start pitching it down and manipulating it. And you see from there, you can start going there and manipulating your synthesizer, all that good stuff, adding effects to it. I can add reverse courses, all that good stuff. And like that. But like I said, the easiest way to actually control your hardware synthesizers through FL Studio is just use the MIDI out fixture and just connect it that way. Now, like I said, if you want to record something new, you just, like I said, just you delete what's inside of Edison. So you just delete what's inside of Edison. You'll pick a new patch, play your MIDI out how you want to. You can just make an art chords or pads or whatever, and then you just record in there and throw it in there. And that's the best way to do it, the fastest and easiest way to do it. And it makes it really super simple to do it. I mean, that's why the way I do it when I make my beats. So hopefully, you know, if you have hardware synthesizers or you're planning on getting hardware, but you're kind of afraid to get into it because you didn't know how you're going to actually control it or use it inside of FS Studio. Hopefully this quick little video, you know, it's not really a really detailed video, or really like in-depth video. It's just like, it's just how you do it. Just use MIDI out and control your MIDI controllable stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it always. I know who it is, your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy it always, and I'll just catch you guys next video because I'm out. Eat.